Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the First Pres Kitchen. Today, I am in front of our butcher block, and this is a piece that was saved from the old kitchen. Uh, I like to use this for pastry applications. So today, we are gonna do a pastry, um, a scone recipe that's a favorite of mine. We use it a lot here in the kitchen. Um, it's got a lot of substitutions you can do. Uh, so to, this morning, we're gonna do a cranberry orange. So first, uh, we're gonna start with the dry ingredients. We're gonna do two cups of flour. Third a cup of sugar. Got one teaspoon of baking powder. Four teaspoon of baking soda. Now I highly recommend using a food processor for this if you have one. Uh, if you don't, you can use a fork and a pastry or a pastry cutter for the butter. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt. And we'll pulse that in the food processor just a couple times. And then I have uh, eight tablespoons of cubed and chilled butter. It's important that it's chilled. You could even freeze it if you want. And we'll pulse that together until it's kind of a finely ground. So you want it to be kind of a, a coarse meal. Now we'll uh, mix together our wet ingredients. We're going to take one egg, one half a cup of sour cream, or Greek yogurt, whatever you have on hand is works good. Take the zest of uh, one, one orange. This adds some really good flavor to it. And we can save a little bit of zest for our glaze. So you can just um, use most of it for the recipe. We'll whisk that together and then add our dry ingredients. Add our dry ingredient mix. We'll mix that together until it kind of comes together into a ball. That's going to be pretty sticky. So if you need to, you can add a little bit of flour so it comes together. Sometimes it's good just to form it together with your hands. At the end, we'll fold in a half a cup of dried cranberries. Now if you have other dried fruit you want to add in, that can work as well, raisins or um, apricots, and then just kind of knead it, knead it together a little bit. If it's a little bit too sticky, you can add a little bit of flour. We'll roll that out on a lightly floured surface. Now you want to roll it out to, really you can do any thickness you want, but three-fourths of an inch or so, give you a good size uh, scone. Now you can roll it out into any shape you want, circles or triangles. Today we'll do, um, we'll do little triangles to make, make a few, few extra. Now you can use a bench scraper to kind of cut these up a little bit. And I just cut them into small triangles.
If you have a little bit of extra, you can always just form those together, make small ones. Now this will end up making about 20 small scones, depending upon how thick, how thick you want to make them. And it's optional, but I like to add a little bit of sugar on top. And then we'll bake these in an oven about 400, 400 degrees uh, for about eight uh, to 12 minutes, depending upon your oven. While everything is baking, we can make the glaze. So here I have about a cup of powdered sugar, uh, a little bit of uh, milk, two tablespoons of milk. And then for a little bit of extra flavoring, you can add some, just a dash of vanilla and uh, a little bit of orange juice. And just whisk that together and we can drizzle this on when the scones come out of the oven. taking our cranberry orange scones out of the oven. They've been in about 10 minutes. So you may want to let them cool for a few minutes. Um, but we already made our vanilla orange glaze. So we'll put, we'll put these on a rack. And then we can glaze a few of them. And then as you let them cool, the glaze will kind of harden up a little bit. And there's your, your scones. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.